This is a bad joke. This is, yeah, this... Metsu says, welcome home. What's the catch? I know. No catch. There's no catch. I am totally speechless. I have enough battery juice so we can go live on YouTube. Because we are about to hit one honeys. Get another call. Big money, big money. <laughs> so, how does something like this come about? Megan and I have known each other since we were about 10 years old. And if you would have told us that we would buy an ex charter boat, fix it up, start making home videos, turn that into a YouTube channel, and because of it, meet friends from all over the world and then somehow find ourselves sailing one of the finest performance catamarans built. Well, we'd be scratching our heads saying, so nice of you guys to have us on board. We're so excited for this. I know you said don't bring a lot of stuff. All right, how, how do we even tell this story? Something happened tonight, you guys, that completely blew Nick and I's mind. Yeah, we're having a meeting with Outremer. With the same people we met with uh, about two and a half weeks ago in Cannes. Guys, come back. We Good. think we have something. We have an idea. It's very, that you might like. So we're on our way to figure out what that might be. <laughs> I think we're gonna get some clarity. <laughs> yeah, you should take it, my <laughs> man. <laughs> I'm scared. This is the Where are they scared. taking us? Yeah, this oh, is a surprise. surprise. <laughs> it's like a movie, but we don't know the street pretty really well. They wouldn't say anything on the way down the dock. Uh huh. And we walk up to an Uchimar 55. Uh -huh. Look on the back. <laughs> okay, what's in the back? <laughs> what is it? Oh, oh. Mathieu says, welcome oh home. God. What? <laughs> wow. I'm a little bit perplexed and It doesn't happen very often to you, Nick. What's the catch? I know. No catch. No catch. No catch. I am totally speechless. I honestly, I'm freaking out a little bit. This could be it, guys. I think we... You think? I need to just take a little walk here because I'm freaking out. Uh, what is happening right now? What? Oh my god. This is not possible. She's ready. She's ready. Oh my god. Wow. I used to say a lot during this last year and a half that um, at some point it's going to make sense. This is the point, guys. This is the point it all makes sense. And I still can't freaking believe it, but uh, I'm going to need a moment to settle in <laughs> to the fact that uh, this is why this is why we waited patron party for sure <laughs> oh my god I am just I can't even I can't even believe it wow the look on your face is like I, I'm still like I know no what <laughs> the catch is you don't have the proper cruising guides <laughs> <laughs> We're not going east, baby. No, west. We're going west. Genius. Because when it's really cold, yeah, you don't want to put everything to just this one. Way. Right. <laughs> this is really yeah. Cool. Very clever. I mean, Nick. This. <laughs> Here you go. Here's a two point something million dollar catamaran. We're gonna have some fun. <laughs> Take it across some oceans and tell everybody what you think. You probably have a lot of questions. Well, so did we. We'll have answers throughout the rest of the video. I know. 
At this point, it was all just an idea. So we stuck to our plans. Huge shout out to Babbel. They are one of the top language learning apps in the world. Babbel was built by language educators and is scientifically backed. They've been able to teach people the basics of a language in as little as three weeks, even thick skulls like mine. Nico, ¿sabes dónde está el café? Sí, está en el congelador. It's only one problem, honey. I don't think Spanish is the priority right now. I think we need to switch over to French. That's no problem at all. With Babbel, we can easily switch with the touch of a button. I love using Babbel when I have my morning coffee because it really wakes up my brain. And I love all the little sound effects. Adios. Adios. Hola. Hola. I've studied languages before and I've found myself lost in conjugating verbs and all that sort of thing. And what I really like about Babbel is it gives you real world skills to interact with the locals. And that's something that became really handy as we went to Spain. That's coming up. Click on the link below and Babbel's going to give you a 60% discount and, and this is key, 20 day money back guarantee. You don't like it? You get your dough back. I just don't see the risk. If you're interested in learning a new language, give Babbel a try. And we're interested in what language you might be interested in. Uh, leave a comment. We are headed to the French Alps. We need some Windex and sizzle. Did you book this train for us just to have it by ourselves? I think we're alone now. Oh, no. Doesn't seem to be anyone around. Get the way you gotta. You're yawning. All right, we've got our rental car. Can he get in? It's pretty tight. <laughs> Right on Route Donna C. Okay. This is just too cute. Good work, Nick. You got a, came back to you like riding a bike, huh? Good job, Navigator. <laughs> good, good teamwork. Good teamwork. <laughs> then turn left on Route de Ronde. <laughs> okay. That is good. What? Okay, what is this? Look at the key. <gasps> oh, the smell. Can you smell it? <gasps> what is happening? Oh my god. It's <laughs> Richard. <laughs> what? <gasps> Look at these stairs. Oh my god. Look at this. Easy. I know. Oh my god. <laughs> Wow. This is our little home away from home. <laughs> God, these places we've gotten to stay. And then our hosts are up here in this beautiful house that they built. Richard and Sarah, they're wonderful. Oh. <laughs> We're walking in the French Alps. The leaves are changing. It's beautiful out. It must be mid 70s. Very peaceful. Oh, you hear birds and bugs. A magical, magical spot. Wow. That water <laughs> is incredible. This is mountain spring water fresh from the French Alps. Oh wow. It's crazy. These, these little chalets are just so darling. Not a bad place to think things over. And uh, we have we have incredible offers 
incredible offers that we never could have predicted. So this is a time to contemplate our courage for up-leveling. I'm so bad. High on a hill, there's a lonely goat herd. Yeah, you're lay, you're lay. Get the goat's heads up there. Those are goat's heads? Yeah, they a little horns. Hey, Dad. In the midst of all this, I was dealing with the fallout from using some medication on my face in the sun. Turns out that was a huge mistake. That caused some pretty serious chemical burns around my eyes. Are you meditating? Many of you have commented that it seems like we always seem to be cheery and in bright spirits, always have a great attitude. That is not always the case. I got these uh, Adidas in can at a used shoe store. I'd say you got your money's worth. Yep, 20 euros. They're great shoes. Oh, yeah, they're great. But they are uh, falling apart here. Well, I think it's important to note that um, Megan would not bring her nice shoes from Portland. I, I begged her. Yeah. All my fashionistas out there would understand if you only get to bring one pair of shoes and you have a dress to wear, you don't want to wear tennis shoes. Well, how's that working out for you? <laughs> I thought you would appreciate it. I was trying to be budget-minded. Well, budget-minded would have been bringing the shoes you already got. No. We had several long conversations with the folks at Uchamer, hammering out the details of us taking over this Uchamer 55. And because we feel like we've built up a lot of trust with you guys, we want to be as straightforward and transparent as possible. We are not buying this Uchamer 55. And Uchamer is not giving us an Uchamer 55. They are letting us use this boat until the next owner is ready. What a deal, you say. It's a no-brainer. Truth be told, we had some apprehensions. How would something like this be perceived? No, that, that high, that. How do you feel about being on camera? If you don't want to... Just... We'll see after. It's times like these when it's great to have the ear of friends. And Richard and Sarah were so tolerant and patient as we described our decision. It's extremely important to us that we provide value to you. Your time is worth a lot and we don't want to waste it. After a lot of contemplation, we decided that there's a tremendous opportunity here. It's an opportunity to see exactly what it takes to move from your average charter boat to a high performance catamaran of the caliber of an Uchmer 55. And we get to bring you along and share the experience. That is an incredible privilege. And that Uchmer would even make such an offer shows tremendous faith, not just in us, but in their boat. That is really saying something. I guess it's just like Celine said as she led us down to the boat. It's like a movie, we just don't know the script very well. And isn't that a sign of a worthy adventure? Worth making a movie about. And that's what we're gonna do. Alright, we're back. We had to get through some jaggedy sh**. <laughs> jaggedy sh** alert. That's the word of the day. Man. Jaggedy. These roads, I mean, this is actually kind of a main road. This feels like a real road. Otherwise, they, they feel like 
super long driveways. Yeah, this is where the Tour de France comes. Makes you want to get a swatch. Oh my god, look at these. Does this take you back to 1982? <laughs> 1983? Oh, we should get one. I don't know. Is this one? Is this, did they used to have this one back yeah. in the day? Leave your grenades at home. Don't pack your grenades and you carry on. Wow. Not a good idea. The uh, Geneva Airport has got to be like one of the most confusing airports <laughs> I've ever been to. I know. I think we've crossed the border inside the airport like four or five times. <laughs> okay, this is a little bit strange. It seems a little like a glitch in the security system. I mean, they're selling those knives right there at the gate. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. You check in and you can't have any pointy objects with you. Uh, you can't have any knives. <laughs> And then we're here at the gate, getting ready to board, and uh, they're selling knives. <laughs> Literally at the gate, they sell knives. We uncovered a massive security, security threat on Swiss Air. Stay tuned. More on that later. <laughs> Like a coffee sippy cup. There's a filter as we drink the coffee. So why are we going to Spain? It's our neighborhood. Now the simple answer is that there were a lot of details to work out on Utremer's side. They've never given a couple YouTubers a boat. Oh, smell that. Smells good. So good. Chocolates. Yeah. So, Megan. Yeah. Why are, we're in Malaga. Why are we here? <laughs> well, we wanted to go somewhere warm and adventurous and exotic. So I Googled, what's the best place in southern Spain? It said Malaga. Here we are, Malaga. <laughs> About, uh, I'd say, 10 hours later, 12 hours later. I know, that's pretty spontaneous. All right, we're looking for our host. So, 24 hours ago, we were in the French Alps. Did you did you even know that Malaga existed? No. I just knew that I had to, I had to get my baby out of there. I love the French Alps, and I love Richard and Sarah. It wasn't that. It's just... The clouds came in. The cold came in. And the car rental was too. Alright, it's Malaga. It's Malaga. 2,800 years old. It's not Malaga. It's the oldest city that has been continuously lived in. Is that the little lube over there? <laughs> Teat lube. <laughs> Are they coffee in Paris? It's the... Uh... It's the Louvet. Which came first, that one or the Louvre Louvre in Paris? The Louvre Louvre. <laughs> Are we gonna hit 100,000? What? How are we gonna hit 100,000? How many times did you check yesterday? Uh, I checked three times. I think you checked about <laughs> 6,000. I've checked like three times today. <laughs> All right, we are at the very beginning of the Castillo de Gibrafavo here in Malaga. And it is a double walled castillo. And we're about 40 minutes from the main event. So I'm not sure how far we're gonna make it today. Hey, there's the bullfighting ring down there. I love our life. You do? Yeah. Good right. life. Aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Who knew not having a boat could be so fun? <laughs> Travel, see the world without a boat.
989. Do you think we're gonna hit 100 right here? 11? Yeah, here we go. <laughs> 10 more to go. Maybe by the time we go to sleep tonight? <laughs> What do you think of this place? Well, it's obviously some sort of military something or other, but what were they protecting? What were they protecting and who were they protecting it from? I think it started out with the Romans and then the Catholics took over. <laughs> okay, we got six more to go. Six to go. All right, it's quarter to eight. What's your prediction? How long is it gonna take to get six? <laughs> hey, that was my guess. You gonna go above or, le or below? Under. Under. Okay. Price is right. Rules. <laughs> All right. This is the final countdown. We're sitting here on a bench, waiting to go live. We're going live, baby. <laughs> We're hitting 100,000 subscribers. We started this adventure on YouTube about four and a half years ago. Wow. Time has flown. Who would have guessed? Is it three and a half years? Four and a half. 999.99. 999. Who's going to be the 100,000 subscriber? I know. I hope I have enough battery juice so we can go live on YouTube because we are about to hit one honeys. Where are we? We're here in Malaga. Malaga? Malaga. Malaga, Spain. And uh, let me swipe it. Let's see if we can get these. <laughs> Still, we're stuck at 999. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll just keep. Give, give it another shot. Right, give it another big pull. Money, big money, big money. One, two, three, four. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you, whoever just uh, hit us over 100. Thank you, everybody. We got to do a live now, so jump on. Thank you.